Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Pisces. This is going to be for your April 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look and see what is next in love for you guys, and then we'll finish off the reads to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective uh, Pisces people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel, that's dedicated solely to my travels. The links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, if you guys didn't know, I am doing another giveaway where I'm giving away two free 30 minute personal readings with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that, check out the details on how to enter the giveaway in the community tab on my YouTube page. I did post up the details on there and I, I, will, and I will announce the winners on April 12th. So Pisces, how about Pisces? What is going on with Pisces? What's next for Pisces in love? What's next for Pisces in love? For April 2024, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Pisces, for Pisces. What's next in love for Pisces? What's next in love for Pisces? One more. What's next in love for Pisces? What's next in love for Pisces? Oh, oh. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles that jumped out here, so that looks good. Let's see what else we have. Ten of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Okay. The Hermit Virgo energy. The Hierophant Taurus energy. The High Priestess, the Hangman. I feel like somebody here started distancing, distancing themselves from you, and I feel like you're trying to figure out why that's happening here. Somebody here is going cold on you. Somebody here is going silent on you. Um, I do feel like somebody here is definitely not really speaking a whole lot or expressing themselves too much, but then I feel like this person still has loyalty to you. I don't know what this, what this person's going through, but let's just take a look. Yeah, I feel like this person's definitely going through something here. I mean, this could be you going through something. Maybe you're distancing yourself from a relationship here. Tell me about the hangman. The hangman. Six of swords. Tell me about the high priestess and the five of cups. Okay. You know, I feel like this person's feeling a little bit lost at this time. Yeah, I feel like this person's feeling a little bit lost. And I feel like this person's definitely trying to do some soul searching here. You know, I feel like this person doesn't want to break up, but I feel like this person wants to leave for a little bit to find themselves and then come back to you. I feel like this person needs a break. This person needs a vacation. Or, or I feel like this person just wants to figure things out for themselves. A word to place themselves or where they fit in this life. What is their life's purpose? Okay. Yeah, like I said, I feel like uh, I'm going to put this with a ton of pentacles. I feel like this person doesn't want to break up. I still feel like this person wants to be together. But I feel like this person wants to go off on their own and figure some stuff out. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this person doesn't feel like, hasn't been feeling like themselves here. And I feel like this person's trying to figure out why with the eight of swords here. I do feel like there's a bit of worry here. Like, why is this person behaving the way that they're behaving? Why is, why is this all of a sudden coming up? But I feel like this person is definitely going through something here. I feel like they're trying to find their soul tribe. I feel like they're trying to connect with their people. Okay. But I feel like this person def definitely is like trying to, trying to heal. Yeah. Trying to like, you know, go through some sort of spiritual enlightenment here. Uh, but this is, this is something that came out of nowhere. So I, I, I don't see you guys breaking up, but I feel like this is one of the reasons why this person has been so distant, so disconnected. You guys haven't really been doing things together. There's no intimacy, you know, there's no date nights. Uh, what else do we have here for Pisces? What else does Pisces need to know about for work on for April 2024 when it comes to uh, 
love. Perhaps, you know, this is maybe a strong indication that if this person is doing it, maybe this is something that you should take some time out for yourself to do also. We have the Six of Wands here and the King of Pentacles. I feel like this person has no doubt that you guys will come back stronger and better, you know? And like I said, not that you guys will separate. I just like this person's trying to find their kind of like their mojo again, you know? I feel like this person somehow lost it along the way. It could be that, you know, this person feels insignificant because I feel like maybe this person lost their job and they feel like you've been taking care of them. And, you, and, this, and if this is like, you know, a man, they just feel really horrible and bad about themselves because you're taking care of them when they sh should be taking care of you. You know, we have the um, strength card, Leo energy, the death card, Scorpio energy, the nine of swords and the ten of swords. There's a lot of heavy energy here. You know, one of the reasons why this person is so distant, I feel distant, is so I feel like this person is completely energetically drained here because I feel like this person absorbs energy like a sponge. Yeah, this person absorbs energy like a sponge here, and I feel like that is the reason why this, this person is trying to figure this out. And one of the things I'm getting here is that this person has no spiritual knowledge or background, you know, and I feel like when it comes to this, I feel like this person is completely skeptical about it. Um, perhaps you have that knowledge, you have that wisdom. I feel like, yeah. So, you know, I feel like this person is definitely trying to figure it out, but it definitely has something to do with the energetic thing here. Uh, some sort of energetic attachment that's attached to this individual. Um, yeah, I feel like this person does not want to break up, you know. I just feel like, you know, um, this person's going through something and trying to figure things out, and it maybe could help support this person in the journey that they're on. You know, but I feel like it's going to be really hard to convince them about this, all this spiritual stuff, because I feel like this person's a, a, like a very logical and a very sciencey person. It's kind of like back it up with facts, you know, but also, you know, sometimes in life, you know, sometimes, you know, there's certain things in life that science can't, can't explain, you know, uh, with the strength card and the nine of wands and the seven of wands and the devil. I do feel like the person that you're dealing with here could be a psychic medium, and I feel like this person's definitely denying their gifts here, or that this person's definitely having a hard time wrapping, wrapping their mind around uh, their gifts, you know? So I, I do feel like there's a lot going on with this individual. I do feel like a lot of things are coming up for this individual, especially when it comes to their gifts, because I feel like this person kept pushing it away. And we are in Mercury retrograde, and this is a, a, something that this person has to face here, or something that they have to deal with here. Um... Uh, uh, but, you know, at the same time, at the end of the day, you know, this person could also decide to reject this gift and not take it either. Um, but, you know, that is a reason why that this person wants to separate and break up. It's not separate and break up. This person does not want to separate. I don't know why I said that. Perhaps maybe this person thought about it, but this person does want to stay together here because I've mentioned this a couple of times. Uh, this person does want to stay together here. But I feel like they have thought about separating here. I don't know. I feel like when it comes to spiritual stuff, anything that you talk about, I feel like this person doesn't really want to hear it. I feel like this person's definitely seeking out some sort of medical attention here. And it's not going to really work because uh, uh, any sort of like Western medical uh, device, uh, it's not going to pick this up. It's more of an energetic thing here. So Pisces, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe. Hit the notification bell and I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.